I'm Babita Sharma in London. We've got more analysis on uh, President Obama's plans later in the programme, so stay with us for that. But now let's just catch up with some of the day's other news. And Malaysia's anti-corruption body has cleared the Prime Minister Najib Razak of criminal wrongdoing after reports said nearly $700 million in public funds was transferred into his personal bank account. Jennifer Pack in Kuala Lumpur has been following the story for us. We can join her live now. And uh, Jennifer, clearly the result that the government wanted, Najib Razak in particular, but do you I think this now draws a line under this case for him. But other main news, and that is the monsoon rains that have killed hundreds of people across it. Now, Delta Airlines has said that it will no longer accept various hunting trophies into the cargo of its planes. The decision follows international outrage over the illegal killing of a lion named Cecil in Zimbabwe by a dentist from Minnesota. And some news from the Netherlands now, where at least 20 people have been injured when these two cranes fell onto a row of buildings. As we can see in these pictures here, as the cranes fell, first one, then the other, completely toppled over. Well, heavy machinery is being taken to the scene to help search for anybody that was trapped beneath the rubble. Now let's go back to our main story this hour, President Obama's programme to tackle climate change. He made that announcement a few hours ago. Thanks for joining us on the programme. What did you make of what President Obama had to say? Were you impressed or just think it's a lot of hot air? Well, some quarters, and I'm sure you may have heard the counter-argument to the one that you've just put forward there, of some saying, you know what, it doesn't actually matter what President Obama is saying in the terms of the degrees of which he's saying that the America is going to change things, because it's minuscule when we look at the uh, amount of damage that's already been done in the world, that actually what he's proposing isn't going to make that much of a difference. However, much talk of how a global consensus is needed, global action to tackle the issue of climate change. Uh, do you think that India, who is a reluctant conformer to this, will be... Uh, in any way swayed by what President Obama said today. Jeff Gowitz, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Now, it's estimated that 200,000 girls were forced by Japan to work as comfort women during the Second World War. Well, that's a term for forced prostitution, and the issue remains a controversial one in Japan. Their Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has been criticised for saying there is no evidence the women, mostly from Korea and China, were forced into becoming sex slaves. Well, in a special report to mark 70 years since the end of the Second World War, the BBC's Rupert Wingfold Hayes has been to meet one. Also coming up on the programme. Let's take a look at the front pages of the Wells newspapers for you now. We start with the China Daily, which carries this environment story with a bit of a local flavour. This August, Beijing will take a series of measures. And here they are, the paper mentioning all the six in total to reduce pollution and get rid of the city's notorious haze in time for a military parade next month. The uh, Straits Times sounds the alarm over an unprecedented drought. The paper is reporting that a key reservoir which enables Singapore to import water from Malaysia is now at an historic low. You can see for yourself where the water line used to be and where it is now. South China Morning Post reports on an ongoing health scare, reporting that small children and pregnant women are particularly at risk after high concentrations of lead were found in tap water on several housing estates. That's the way the papers are looking this hour, but correspondent Jonathan Head has been speaking to Jaquita Gonzalez, whose husband Patrick was an in-flight supervisor on flight MH370. That's Jaquita Gonzalez, whose husband Patrick was mm. on flight MH370. Now, an important week for you guys in Singapore, Rico. Not only do we have the new set, which is still looking spectacular, day two. Let's hope Absolutely. it continues. Yeah. But, of course, lots of anniversary celebrations as well. That's right. A lot of exciting events are taking place uh, over the next uh, week. Pan. Well, why not here? So, we asked you what your ideal vending machine could offer you. You've been telling us.